Welcome to day seven of the 12 days of Christmas. We're now on to the back half of the series and we're getting really, really close to Christmas. So I hope you guys are getting excited just like I am. And I have one quick thing I want to mention before we get into the review. You can no longer suggest for this series. The suggestion period for the 12 days of Christmas ended on December 13th so I could determine all the winners ahead of time. I just wanted to mention that because I have been getting a couple suggestions for the 12 days of Christmas and I'm sorry but you just can't suggest anymore. There's always next year and you can still make a regular suggestion or a birthday request. And now let's get into today's review. Of course we have Tubbs Pacer here representing the Oil Rig Getaway series. And the shout out goes to Noisy Mountain Wagon. Thank you very much for the suggestion. I really do appreciate it. And thanks for the support you give me. And you make some really cool videos as well. So thanks again for the suggestion. And now let's just get right into the review of this bad guy lemon from Cars 2, Tubbs Pacer. So He's actually a pretty main character in Cars 2. He's the head of the entire Pacer family that are bad guys. Now in Cars 2, I wouldn't assume that every single Pacer in the entire world is a bad guy. I mean, they're all lemons because their cars are defective, but they're probably not a part of the lemons organization under Tubbs Pacer here. Just the bad ones like, you know, Acer, we have Fred Fish Boski and a couple others I'll show later on in the video. So he first appeared at the Porta Corza bad guy meeting, as I like to call it, with the other heads of the Lemon families like Jay Kirby Gremlin, Vladimir Trunkov, Victor Hugo, and of course the big leader, Professor Z. And then on the TV screen, there was Miles Axelrod in the disguised voice. And then he appeared at London in that glass box watching the race. And then of course he went on the streets to fight Lightning McQueen and Mather and the rest of the Radiator Springs townies. Now, if I was back in 2006 and I heard that, I would have been shocked. It's like, wait, wait, who is fighting the Radiator Springs townies in the streets of London? That sounds absurd, but now that Cars 2 has came and gone, not so absurd anymore. But yeah, that was kind of a surprising, but a very kind of cool and epic scene though, even though I'm not a huge fan of the spy aspect of Cars 2, it was still a great movie, of course, because I am a huge Cars fan. I pretty much like everything Cars related. So moving on to his releases now, he was first released as a single in the Lemon series in 2013, and then the same thing in 2014. Lemon series again, again as a single as well. Also in 2014, he was released in a two pack with Tolga Trunka that I reviewed last month. Link for that review will be down in the description along with a card suggestion up top here. But he was not just regular Tubbs Pacer, he was Tubbs Pacer with paint spray, basically the version of him after he got spray painted by Ramon on the streets of London there. So it was a new release for that, so that's pretty cool. And while we're on the topic of Tubbs with the paint spray and Tolga, they're actually both getting re-released in 2017 in the London Chase series, both separately though. They're not going to be in a two pack. In fact, both have been actually released. So one of them I just saw on eBay, Tolga just hit eBay in the package. And I believe tubs with paint spray has been found at Walmart stores in the USA. So if you need those, I wish you luck with getting them. I personally will be picking them up to keep in the package, but kind of boring because they are both re-releases. However, for people who don't have them, they're great. And obviously cannot leave out the 2016 release of him in the oil rig getaway series. It was kind of a nice change of pace from the lemons. Number one out of eight. There is his picture right there. And now I don't know really why they released him in this series because technically he did not appear at the oil rig. He was off somewhere else. I have really no idea where he was, but he was not at the oil rig. Only the beat up lemons like Jerome here 
were at the oil rig. So the series description reads, the lemons think they've trapped the MIG missile on an oil rig, but the secret agent plummets into the ocean for a dramatic escape. And there's Fimic missile dodging an explosion there. So a pretty nice series, although it had some unnecessary re-releases, at least in my opinion. Same thing with Vladimir Trunkov. He didn't appear at the oil rig, but you know, still nice to get them again. So let's get on to the review now of Tubbs. So obviously he's an AMC Pacer, and now that model was considered to be a clunker car, or a lemon as referred to in cars too, because they were very defective and broke down very easily. Now, if they didn't break down as easily, I still think they're kind of nice cars. They look interesting, kind of something you don't see too often, but they were clunkers, so they got that label of being a lemon. So, he has the Pacer text there on the hood, and he's this kind of nice two-tone color with this like cream beige and then a brownish orange color, which is very, very nice. On the back here, we can see the Pacer text again, along with the AMC logo, and his license plate reads 705BN. So, I believe that license plate is actually unique to him, so that's a good thing there. No other cars share his license plate. Here's the base if you're interested. This is the 2013 release of him. And there it says Pacer, because he is a licensed car. So they do have to include that little credit there on the base. Now, there's actually a Johnny Lightning version of the AMC Pacer, and I found this, I don't know really where I found it, but I think I was at some odd antique store, and the only reason I bought it was because it has pretty much the same colors as Tubbs Pacer. Of course, the beige is a little bit darker and is more of a mustard or gold color, but pretty much the same design. So I thought that was really cool. I wanted to show it in this video because I don't believe I've ever showed it in a video before. So it's something new to bring to the table for you guys. And it does have the same logos on the back as the Mattel one, Pacer and the AMC logo right there. So that is really, really cool. And it has rubber tires, metal base, metal body. So that is also very, very nice as well. I believe it says up top here, 1977 AMC Pacer. So that's the year. And there's also this blue and white one that I bought as well because I really, really like this blue color. So I thought, might as well buy him too, even though there's not really a Disney car that was made with these colors. Still very, very nice though. Like I said, you know, if these cars weren't clunkers, they might have actually been desirable ones because, you know, in my opinion, they don't look so bad after all. Of course, being clunker cars, and eh, definitely don't want one to drive around. So that's all for Tubbs himself. I do want to show a couple other pacers in comparison. Here is him with paint spray like I showed before. The only difference is his expression and the pink paint spray there. Also, just so you guys know, the Union Jack Ramon or the British Flag Ramon is being released this year with the paint gun that he used to spray tubs with. So that is pretty cool. He should be released in the fourth 2017 case along with Vladimir Trunkov with a boot. So that'll actually be a very nice case. Here's Acer, the main pacer in the movie. Just lime green with dirt all over his body. So he's definitely out there doing the risky jobs on like tubs. And he does have a different license plate as well. His reads, fishbowl, but without the vowels. So it's just F-S-H-B-W-L. Next up, we have Fred Fishbowski, or better known as just Fred Pacer. He is just yellow with dirt all over his body. A pretty rare Pacer, actually. He goes for a lot on eBay nowadays. I found a bunch of them in stores, but unfortunately, I only bought one. And here is him with Acer because I know their colors are very, very similar. So you can see that he's definitely yellow and he's definitely green. Unfortunately, though, Fred has the same license plate as Acer. Both of them say a fishbowl, so that's not cool. Mattel, come on. Here we have PD Pacer from 2013. 
a pretty cool release here obviously with the torch a blue pacer dirt on his body as well we do not see his license plate due to the propane tanks and last but not least is the most recently released or not really most recently Tubbs pacer was released after jerome in the 2016 line but jerome is the newest pacer to be added to the collection and he is another one with the torch jerome ramped named after joe ramps brother jerome ramped of course joe ramped played a red in the Cars movie, unfortunately, he died, though. That is pretty sad. Even though Red never spoke really in the movie, he did do the crying voices, I believe, and the kind of noises that he does make throughout the movie. So that is all for the review here of Tubbs Pacer. I hope you guys enjoy. And Noisy Mountain Wagon, I hope this video lived up to what you'd hoped it'd be. I know that the lighting is much better than yesterday's video. I have no idea what happened in yesterday's video with the lighting. It looked really dark and like orangey. No idea what happened. Sorry about that, guys. I'll do my best so that doesn't happen ever again. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for day eight. Wow, day eight. After that, we'll only have four more days to go. Just insanity right there. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for another day. Hope you enjoyed. Bye now.